you know that feeling when you realize something and just everything falls into place? Uh, I, I just had that feeling when I was working today. I, we, had, we had a traditional Swedish fika at work uh, and it just stumbled across me. Just I have to go to Koskrona over the weekend. So it's Friday afternoon. I just got home. Uh, I started to pack uh, because what I would like to do is uh, my girlfriend's there. She's having a bad cold. So I like to visit her. My parents both got surgery this past week and I like to visit them. It's Father's Day. I, I have, I really have a bad desire to just go out kayaking, uh, try my new tent, uh, and different things that I haven't used that much. I just, I love, I love items. I'm one of those guys that love things. Uh, it's a perfect day to use them. Like, I don't know. So, so, so packing up all the gear, uh, just going really, really, uh, one lens, really neat uh, my travel tripod keep it simple keep it simple just just get out there that's the plan that's the plan uh, so three hours train or something and then I'll be in Koskruna and tomorrow I hope I'll go out on the cat isn't that a plan huh Ladies and gentlemen, day two here. Uh, my girlfriend is feeling so much better. That's really nice with her cold. I visited my parents. Are they doing as fine as you can get? They had their spirits up. And now I just got in the kayak. But the one thing I didn't really uh, expect uh, was this. I don't really know if you can see it, but it isn't really as waterish as I was uh, hoping it would be. So, so right now I'm trying to get get across this uh, uh, the ice sheet here just just uh, outside my parents' house, uh, and the paddle is over there, and the way to go is uh, screws. I use uh, uh, French screws, I think they're called directly translated in Swedish. Uh, I usually have ice picks when I do this. It was a couple of years ago since I did it last, but we didn't. There was in the other house, so so we found these ice screws. And they work just fine. It'll it take time and it's really hard work. But the plan is to go out to the I think I think where the the swan is at. I don't know if you can see it. It's like twenty ish, twenty or thirty ish swans out there, and they look like they're swimming. I don't have my normal glasses on, so I'm not sure. But uh, my plan is to go there. Then I can hopefully get uh, the paddle working, and then we're off, huh? And I think there's gonna be more ice in the way. So it took me like 40 minutes or so to get through that ice sheet. It was like approximately one kilometer, which usually take like Mm. Oh, not even 10 minutes in this type of kayak. So it was really tough work. And it was kind of three three types of ice sheet. The big one that I started filming in, where you can where you were floating on top of the ice. You're not floating. You were resting on top of the ice. We're just growing your way through it with the with the with the screws. Uh, and then there was a bit thinner, uh, from which the the kayak was actually in the water. So we punched through the ice sheet. But the uh, I can still punch the the screws through the ice and get like from haulage pressure to go forward. And when it was even thinner, the the ice would break when I got through the the ice with the screws. Then I have to use the paddle. Uh, all three is diff really difficult. Uh, but the, the the most scary is when you, when you're down in the water, kind of, and then sometimes up on the ice and you have, you have to be really careful w what you do so you don't don't fall over but uh, it's good fun it's good fun and it's good exercise as well so now i'm out in the the clear water here uh, so now so now the easy thing begin i'm beginning to worry about if i go back tomorrow morning which is a plan after it being like minus 10 degrees out 
if so, I will not be able to go back the same way with Frozen, even worse, I won't It'll take ages. So I have to figure out a plan. Either I won't sleep out, won't tent out, uh, or I will find another uh, way of getting my kayak back than, than through the ice. So we'll see how it goes. But now I'm heading out. I don't know which direction. I stop with this one. <laughs> So the plan is now that I really don't have a plan, okay? Uh, I, I think I'm gonna be sleeping on one of the islands tonight. Uh, and I don't know which island, so I just have to see. It's so absolutely beautiful weather. It's like so calm. The sun is, the sun is really warm. And it's, it's just so beautiful. So I'm here, arrived at an island, which is a potential campsite for the night. Uh, I'm scouting for, I know of a, a tending place on this island, but I'm more scouting of some nice, something nice to shoot during the sunset. So I'm just cruising around, going where normal boats can't go because I'm in a kayak and that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is where I'll park for the evening. As always, priority number one you get out of the kayak in, in the winter time is to get, get some dry clothes on. So that's exactly what I've done. Uh, it's looking kind of a mess. I have an hour or so of light left. I think I'm going to prioritize getting my tent up uh, and then and then relax. So this tent is actually so new that it's the first time I see how it looks inside. Okay, I've only put it up once in the in the hall of, of my apartment in Malmo. Look at it. Okay, it's not perfect. It's not a perfect fit yet, but it's the first time. Okay. Look at this. Two-person tent. So entrance from both sides. So and 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 the apsid. So then we can get all the gear in without having to have them where we sleep. It's amazing. It's amazing. And look at the light. So I have some some nice light left. So I'm gonna uh, get something fast to eat. I'm gonna not trip over. I'm gonna get that gear in some sense into that tent. Uh, some of it has to dry up, but we'll see. I'll get it all in and then uh, I'll go walk around the island. See, see if I can find something beautiful for the evening. All right. I don't know if you can see it that well, but the sun is getting really low and I haven't yet gone out to the... I ha haven't re yet reached the place that I was planning to go when I was kayaking around the island. So I have like a couple of minutes left till I'm there, a couple of minutes setup time and then then I just hope it looks good, the place I found. 
I, I don't know if I've been to this part of the island before. So, we'll see. So I had to change battery in the GoPro and the sun just set behind the island over there. So sorry, missed it. But I got a couple of shots out of it. And what I'm what I'm focusing on is uh, as there's absolutely not nothing of interest in the sky, I'm focusing a bit down to get at, at this elevated position. The thing that really uh, caught my attention and was kicking around this was those two rocks over there. I don't know if they, you can see them on that wide angle on GoPro. Uh, may I shot it close up of the, of the shot I'm taking. So in order to get a, a nice moody cold scene, I uh, used a three stop ND and then a three stop grad ND for, for the sky. But the three stop is for the for the water, really, to get that. To get a lower shutter speed, to get that clean look, clean cold look, I'd say, today. Um, and we're uh, to get you know smooth water because it's a really dominant element in my picture the the water just below here so <coughs> that was a rush but i managed to do it oh that the moon is rising over there it's not full moon but it's damn close it's damn close to full moon so maybe maybe i'll do some night photos we'll see I was planning on that's why I put my 24 1.4 on because I was planning on the stars but with that moon I hadn't no time to check but with that moon there won't be that much stars but it might illuminate the scene like like nice so I've just had my dinner here in the tent uh, lying down in it for the very first time it feels really really good although it's a bit cold uh, the pro the um, they're saying that they should be that there is to be minus eight degrees Celsius this this night uh, which don't surprise me as it is a clear blue sky a clear night sky <laughs> actually uh, but the main problem right now is that I have to decide what to do tonight the the problem being that I only have one camera battery. I forgot my other one for whatever reason. And it's only half full. So if I'm out doing some time lapse in the in the in the beautiful night sky, I might not have enough battery to go out to shoot the sunrise tomorrow. Which, uh, during the night, there will be clouds coming in, they say, uh, which potentially will give, give really nice sunrise photos. So I would like to do that. But maybe if I take some photos now and keep the battery inside my sleeping bag, that would be enough. Uh, but see, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely head out. Uh, I don't know what time it is now. Uh, I don't care. I'm gonna rest here for like an hour or so more and then I'll go out and take some photos of the night sky in the in the full moon so it's gonna be there's gonna be light everywhere it's really really light outside I don't need a flashlight so it's 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 cold and nice <laughs> night sky and probably no video because it's dark out it's, pit, it's really dark out so if there's gonna be any photos taken during the night I'm gonna show them like just after this clip and then I'll see you guys tomorrow morning So good morning, I've just risen from the tent and I just get to get myself moving to get get some heat. Uh, wearing this jacket is like so nice 
because it's it's crazy warm. My feet, however, is another story. So I better get going. I have arrived here where I expect there to be the sunrise, which is so fun because now the sunrise is there. Usually in the summertime, it's way over there. When you come to think about it, it's crazy how it moves between the seasons. And that's nice. So I'm looking here for something good that I would like to shoot. Uh, and I think, and I, I would like to have the sun in the picture, of course. Uh, so I'm thinking about some some lines leading out there. So I just set up the camera for the sunset picture. It faces this way, so I got some nice. I got some nice. Uh, I hope that I think we'll see it. Some nice uh, ice uh, parts like this one, where you can really kind of sense the cold out in these frosty bites on the stones and then of course I'm waiting for the sun to just go slightly above above the horizon not not fully just a slightly so I can get the sparkles but not blow out the image of course I'm trying to I will definitely blow out the image but I'm trying to so once again I'm using a three-stop ND for the water and then an th additional three-stop grad for the sky because as you might guess it's it's a bit lighter than the foreground or the water itself. So that's the plan. I'm burning through Go fake GoPro batteries like crazy out here in the cold. Uh, so I don't know how much shooting I can do because I really want to have one spare battery on on to the way home in the kayak. Uh, I'm just gonna go. I think through there is my way home. I came from there. So finally it is time for launching again. As usual I find myself being in a rush because I have a lunch date in, what is it? Three hours and it's a bit home. So it's gonna take a while. The kayak is, like you can see, a bit frosty. I tried to defrost it some. And the launching is fairly simple. It's a bit more ice than yesterday, but with these, neoprene shoes i don't think that is a problem at all uh, so i'll see you in the water on the water i hope <laughs> it's always taking a new way back home another way than we I used yesterday uh, and I didn't expect to uh, I didn't expect ice until the place I left it yesterday but taking this other route I have met a lot of it and as you can see I went a couple hundred meters down before I realized that this is a bad idea so now I'm going back taking the other way around adding I don't know 30 40 minutes to my trip which is already being late but I, I felt myself being uh, not so self-confident as I was yesterday on the ice so better safe than sorry because there's one thing that you should know when going on ice is that as soon as it starts to get when you when you're on the water breaking through the ice and when as the uh, as the ice grows thicker and you have to go up on the ice that going up on is really tricky because of the shape, the whole shape of the kayak. So it can really easy to trip. So I'm not very confident in doing that by myself. So I was, I was hoping to avoid ice today. So I'm gonna sprint back around the the island again, which is fairly large. Uh, and then I have to do some walking, fetch the car, empty the kayak and then run back with a kayak on the, over the island. Uh, yeah, I got things to do. So, so I think this is, this is gonna be the end of the vlog and uh, I hope you've enjoyed the picture and if, if you enjoyed my little uh, icy adventure here. Uh, but as you can see, it's, it's absolutely 
gorgeous out. Look at how, how smooth the water is. It's a bit more windy outside, but man, it is beautiful. So, thank you for watching. See you next time.